Yo, welcome to the Vibe Providers podcast. I'm your host, Caitlin. And I'm your other host, Missy. And we got a guest today. Hello, for real. <laughs> we got my husband on the podcast. And today the vibe we're providing is cringy. <laughs> um, today's episode is Christmas vibes. And we have Kala on here because he is our Christmas king. He's listening to Christmas music all the time, yeah? Yeah, I listen to Christmas music periodically throughout the year. <laughs> Just when you need a little lift. Yeah, when you need a little joy in your life. (laughs) So today we're going to be drafting the worst Christmas songs. Yes. So we're each going to pick three songs and make try and make a team full of the worst songs. Um, We are going to be doing a snake draft, which means we are going to go one, two, three, and then three, two, one, and then one, two, three. Yep. So we are going to choose for draft positions. So I have three colors, each assigned to a draft position. So, Kala, would you like red, green, or white? Green. You have the number two draft position. Okay, Caitlin, are you going to be red or white? White. You have the number one draft position. <laughs> yeah. Which puts me at number three, but three does get to go twice in a row. True. So, it's not all bad. Okay, so Caitlin gets to start. Okay. Your first draft pick. My worst Christmas song, Christmas Shoes. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the number one on my list it is the worst christmas song um so for those who don't know what the christmas shoes song is it's the little boy trying to buy his mom shoes who's going to die yeah it's like in case mama meets jesus tonight he's asking the person at the store or whatever yeah. if he can buy a pair of shoes for his mom because she's about to die. It's right? too sad. Yeah. It is too sad. Yeah. I don't want to listen to it. I'm changing the radio every time. That yeah. wasn't even on my list because I, I don't that. listen to that. And it's just, it's not like festive or it's joyful a at all. terrible song. I feel like it's more of a song about death rather than about Christmas. Yeah. It's just at Christmas time. Yeah. It's Who Christmas made Eve. that song? Who wrote that? I don't know. Someone depressing. It was Naturally. really bad. You are, that's a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous. Okay, Kala, your number one draft pick. My number one draft pick for this is Do They Know It's Christmas? It's just not, I mean, who is they? Everyone should know what Christmas is. (laughs) It just doesn't make any sense. I don't even know if I've heard that song. Yeah, it doesn't come to mind immediately. It's but. like, do they know it's Christmas? Oh, I time like that song. <laughs> it is a ha- it does have a nice beat to it. Okay, but you're saying it's the worst song because, duh, we know it's Christmas. Yeah, because like, why would you be <laughs> listening to Christmas music if you don't know what Christmas <laughs> is? We can love singing. You know? I'm you're like, like oh, it's that's literally a everywhere. I don't know how you. Can <laughs> yeah, it, it plays a lot. Okay, good one. I can't believe we've made it to my turn and no one's taken this. Okay. Baby, it's cold outside. Oh, I love that song. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. Oh, yeah. It's very, it's a little rapey, right? It, <laughs> it is. Say, what's in this drink? Baby, it's cold outside. What's in that drink? Did he roofie her? I'm oh. not liking it. But it's such a classic duet, and there's a lot of great versions to it. Is there? So, I just think every I time I hear it. it, I'm like, this sounds creepy. Let her leave. She's saying, I really should go. He's like, no, stay. Have a drink. What's in the drink? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't like it. It's cold outside. Don't go. There's a reason that people change the lyrics, and it's because it does not sound like consent. Yeah. Did you watch that movie, though, where they change it? I told you just her. Watched I it? told her to watch it. She just I watched did. it. I did. I just watched it. That It's called Love Hard. Which yeah, is Love a bad, Hard. It's a bad title. Yeah. But it's because of Die Hard. Um, what did you think Netflix. of the movie? I did really enjoy the movie, and I really enjoyed their rendition. Yeah, it was But good... it, it takes out all the problems, which yeah. means that the song has a lot of problems. <laughs> it's creepy, and no one likes it. That's funny. Except, Except Kala, me, I apparently. like it. Oh, but yeah, Kala's singing I don't like... He's singing both parts. <laughs> I don't like the content, but I love like. I will the say, I don't change and, the radio for that and one. And the duet. I, I just... Uh, think critically about it when it plays. I just love a good duet, you know? <laughs> okay, so that was technically the end of round one, and now we're starting round two. But so, now we go reverse, so I get to go again. Okay, what, Three, song, two, one. what song are you picking? I am now choosing. Oh, I've got so many good ones on here. I'm going to choose Mary Did You Know. Ooh. Because I like that. Mary friggin' knew. <laughs> what are we talking about? 
The angel came to her. <laughs> the angel explained the things. She knew. Why are we asking her? Mary, did you know that your baby boy? Yeah, she knows. I don't like it. Every time I hear it, I think this is ridiculous. Mary was the first one to know. No, truly. She knows. I would agree. And so on my list, I put anything by Pentatonix. <laughs> and Pentatonix did that covered that song. Yeah, they did. And I just don't like Pentatonix. Oh I my just... gosh. I go hard for Pentatonix. No, I was going to say, that's a spicy take this time of year. That's I a little crazy like you said them. that on, on the air. Yeah, that's if, a holiday hot If take, a Pentatonix if song one. comes up, I'll skip it. <gasps> wow. Even the, the Carol of the Bells. The yes. Dee, 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 dee. Carol of the Bells is on my list as well. Oh my gosh, me and Cole have different tastes in music. I yeah. think that's true. But Pentatonix, I just don't like all the different... It's just kind of random. It's just not cohesive. And it, it does sound a little more uh, aggressive than a lot of yes. Christmas music does. They're Guys. all over the place. It's just... <laughs> the Pentatonix, Mary Did You Know. No, yeah, see, I still I hate, hate Mary song. Did You Know. Hold on. It, they have another one, too, that I love. It's, yeah, it's... Uh, what's it called? It's the David one. Oh, I don't know. I no, so. I don't know. Where's my phone? Okay. All I have to say is Mary knew. She was the first one. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. She, Angel just told her. You said that. Back to Kala. What's your second draft pick? My second draft pick is Feliz Navidad. Don't get me uh, wrong. You know, it's good, but like the vibes are good. The vibes are good. But there's literally like eight words to the whole song. <laughs> And it's very repetitive. And so, like, it's good for, like, maybe two verses. But then after that point, I'm just like, okay, we're just going through this song again. Yeah. I feel you on that. I enjoy Feliz Navidad. Um, And maybe because my kids like that song. My kids will sing to Feliz Navidad all day long. They think it's fun. Yeah. But it's because they they know the words. Yeah. Because it's the same words over and over. Yeah, because you just need to know five words and then you know the whole song. I know, but it's also our only one that says Merry Christmas in Spanish. So we can't get rid of it. No, I'm not not saying get rid of it. I'm just just saying it's just not great. I like songs that tell stories or have good harmonies yeah. or duets and but things but it does like have that, a nice you know? vibe it's very festive it's just like do, 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 do. <laughs> we just gotta be inclusive to everyone oh yeah, yeah. i i'm not against spanish yeah. Claus getting canceled. let's have another feliz navidad but let's like give it some more pizzazz give it some like <laughs> some kind of like storyline or <laughs> more meaning i guess or more it's, than just feliz navidad yeah it's just like <laughs> they just say merry christmas a bunch of times yeah that's, that's true. true my turn Caitlin, your turn. Silent night, boring. <laughs> that's a classic, though. Boring. I, I kind of am not okay with that because that's the reason for Christmas. Like, it's more about Christmas than other stuff, you know? Sure, but it, I mean, it is boring. It didn't it make boring. my list of bad songs. It's just not a hard hitter. Like, it's not from Ariana Grande, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no one's remixing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like when you sing at church and like you sing <laughs> it every hymn. year and it's like, can we kick, can we pick a new one? Yeah. But it's... Silent Night, like for real, it is, it's the story. But is it an upbeat banger? Not no. at all. <laughs> so. I'm sure somebody could re- redo it and make it I don't tempo. Know. I don't know. Because you shouldn't if it's like I know. Jesus. It has church vibes. Is church vibes has. is fine but my all-time list is christmas pop and that's not a christmas pop song not at all Mm-mm. okay so that's the end of round two okay so now the beginning of round three so caitlin gets to go again now i gotta be careful because kalabi judging me and i got all these <laughs> church songs on here everything that's in the hymn book <laughs> Um, I'm going to say this one is going to be controversial, and I'm so sorry, but we wish you a Merry Christmas. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, chill. I'm personally offended by that. It's you, such a good one. Do you want to know why, though? Why? It's the only song carolers are singing. We wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> we Pick something else. Like, get me something new. It is repetitive. Like, good tidings we bring to you, you know? They're just I trying like to, it. like... Wish you a happy new year and a good life. And yeah. you're just like, no, thank you. <laughs> I think you. it's good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Colossus, like, There's over here. so many bad ones. I can't believe we're Co- banging out good ones. <laughs> Feliz Navidad, good song. It's, we wish you a Merry Christmas, good song. But 
when I hear a caroler at the door, what are they singing? That's true. Well, sure. And I'm like, can we? Well, there's so many songs to pick, and you always got to do that one? Come on. <laughs> Carolers are getting sparse, though. I mean, they I are. feel like it's. People are finally noticing. Yeah. I'm not mad about that. It's not it, happening though. anymore. Unless you, like, know them and you're associated, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. That was your last choice. Okay. Yeah. Kala. Last choice. This was mentioned already, but Carol of the Bells. I'm just not a fan. Which one is that? It's just instrumental, isn't it? No, they're, uh, yeah, it's just instrumental. Kala sing. Oh, it's like, so it's. Do, 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 oh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not bummed that that one got picked. Yeah. That oh. one honestly checks out. I love it. You guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one too. Okay. And there's like a rock version too, right? Yeah, I like that too. The <laughs> Trans Siberian Orchestra. Oh, yes. right? Yeah, I mess with them. I like that. I I don't know. I'm just not a fan. It's a little rocky for you. Kalal wants words to be singing along to. Yeah. Uh, when... That is true though. I like when I sing along to songs. Oh you know? yeah, he's singing along. If the if there's music playing, he's singing. <laughs> yeah. If there's no words, you can't sing along and have some Christmas spirit in your life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my last pick is going to be... I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Oh, no. yes. Because I was going to give agree. you... Do you want to know what I was going to tell you after this? What? I was going to say, I was going to give you a holiday hot take. Okay. And I was going to tell you, guess what song I mess with? No, you do not. I swear on my life, her the and her squeaky mom. little boy who sings that. I want it's a boy. I literally Christmas. thought it was a girl. I thought it was like a lady. I thought it was a little I don't girl. Know. Their squeaky, annoying voice. Yeah, it is squeaky. And annoying. I hate it. And um, it's not realistic. Nobody's getting a hippopotamus for Christmas. No, and I don't really hate the words. If someone else sang it, maybe. Uh, my it's spicy take is: I want no children singing. None. I hate it. <laughs> so we were driving. In Children the... should be seen, not heard. The, yes. They should not be on the radio. <laughs> says, ever. The, says the only one with kids here. That's true. <laughs> I I like kids singing like. Yeah, like in a choir. Ups, kind yeah, of setting. they can go up, start, up to the like podium in church and sing me a Mother's Day song. Great. Do not put children on the radio. I don't want to yeah. hear it. I don't want children's voices singing to me. That There's another one that has like bad. background children singing i can't remember what it is and i don't like that one either get the children out of my radio um so we were listening to christmas music the other day and claw passed that song and i was I like skip it i was singing along i was like how are you gonna skip a song someone's singing to and then okay so i swear it goes way back i can like i have a terrible memory but me and my mom would drive in the car and when that song came on the radio for christmas like we were singing to it <laughs> And so I'm like, even if it's not the best Christmas song, it's a yeah. song that we're both singing at the same time. A memory has been engraved on my brain. And so I'm like, yeah. I think that my biggest issue is it's not the song. It's the version that they put on the radio. Yeah. I feel like that, that's the only I version I've ever heard. That's the only, yeah. For Christmas. I don't like him. Oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. He sounds, we'll whoever it is, sounds terrible. Caitlin and her mom love that song, and I have never heard it, I think, until I oh. married Caitlin, and I was just like, ah, oh, this isn't it for it me. It is <laughs> so crazy that you picked that, because I knew, I felt in my bones that you would not like that song, mm -hmm. and I was going to say, Missy, can I tell you a song you probably hate that I mess with, and you drafted it. I got it. it. I did it. Oh my heck. Okay, so we've drafted our drafts, but I'm wondering if you have some other songs that also also ran. Like Um, I'm thinking maybe I need to keep them to myself because I think Kala's <laughs> taking it a little too close to heart over here. <laughs> I say give me if you got three, give me three that also ran for you. Okay, Kala, you go first. You, but you didn't pick three. them, but you thought about them. Um, there's a song called Holiday Road by Kesha. Kesha should not <laughs> be singing never heard Christmas that. music. Kesha. It's yeah, I get into some pretty niche Chris, Christmas music. <laughs> I can so tell. Niche. I put on basically just the classic Christmas radio. I'm not I'm not really listening to Kesha sing Christmas songs. Usually. Oh, you know who does have a good Christmas song though? Who? Ed Sheeran and uh what's that guy's name? John the um, guy with the sunglasses? John Legend? No, no, John no, I don't know. Elton John. Elton John. Oh, oh. Yeah. They have a really good Christmas song. 
But yeah, Kesha, I it comes up on my thing every so often. I'm just like, ah, oh, no, this is. I isn't, do love Kesha. This is a <laughs> Oh yeah, you do love Kesha. I do love Kesha. That's your karaoke song. Well, but I've never listened karaoke. to any holiday Kesha. True. Yeah. Okay, number two. Um, anything pentatonic? That's the only that's other thing rough. I had on okay. my list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's pretty rough. I yeah. guess I should not be a hater. Are they very? They're acapella. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like. I don't like the beatboxing and the (laughs) zoom, 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 you know, pitch perfect stuff. I just, I'm just not a fan of pentatonics. Caitlin, who also ran for you? I don't really want to say mine. Three that aren't going to hurt our feelings. Well, just say (laughs) it. It's a long list. I'm here to tell you. Uh, Okay. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, I'm okay with that. Boring. It's It's pretty boring. Yeah. Okay. Phew. Okay, this is a hot take. Okay. Joy to the world. Oh, I like that one. As a hymn, yeah. As like a upbeat Christmas song. But it's like, I don't want that playing on the radio. Like at church, cool. I'll sing Joy to the World at church. But like, if I'm like listening to Christmas music on a drive to the grocery store and Joy to the World, I'm like, next. No, there's there's one of the old timey guys who sings it and he's very joyful. And I just love it so much. I... (laughs) I like it. I'm I mean, a fan of that one. That one does hurt my feelings a little. Okay, my third one. The first Noel. Okay. Okay. The first Noel. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as fun. It's not just, even. It's not. It just but, depends. I, well, I was thinking about this when I was thinking about my songs, and I'm like, if you're sitting on your couch in front of a fire, like some of those slower ones are like, oh, yeah, this is nice, you know? And if yeah. it's snowing outside, you're looking out your window. And I'm like, yeah, these are good. But then if you're like in your car and you're like, it's bangers driving, only for me. <laughs> driving to go see some lights or something, you're like, you don't want to hear those. You no, know? you, you want to hear, hear something the upbeat, fun. fun. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's like very on brand for me. Yeah. I'm like, bangers only. <laughs> like, always like something fun, upbeat, crazy. Like, if we're slowing down, what kind of mood is that? <laughs> That's why your whole list is just uh, church songs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, boring. <laughs> no reverence. Okay. My <laughs> other ones that ran are Santa Baby. I love that one. Who oh. is like, um, I need a whole bunch of things. When yeah, she's like, getting, all I need a diamond stuff. ring yeah. and a car and a hat. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I, I do sing to it, but yeah. it's not a very good song. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. I sing along. When I say like, oh, I like that one, it's like, mm, I just know the words. Yeah. But I don't love it. Next is Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Oh, that one does suck. That, that one's, one's funny. Silly. Yeah, That's more that of one, a meme. It yeah. is more of a meme than a song. Yeah. I don't like, I don't want to hear it on my Christmas radio. Not really. Yeah. And my last one is The 12 Days of Christmas. Oh, that one's just long. It's too long. That's I, more for like yeah. elementary school, you know? I lose interest by five. Yeah. I yeah. want to hear about the five gold rings. Oh and my And then gosh. I want you to stop. Dude, you're so right for that. That should have been number one. <laughs> that should have been number one over Christmas shoes. There's that too song, much repetition to that one, too. It's the same thing over and over ten times. If someone's singing that, oh, if a carolers are singing that, yeah, it's oh, over. You're done. That's I'm, a terrible I'm one. closing the door on you. Yeah. So I, no I don't way. love that one. Yeah, we should If we a caroler started that singing that at my door, I would just close my yeah, door. Yeah, I got places to be. Yeah. I'm like, to do. I'd rather sit on my couch and do nothing than <laughs> listen to that. Okay, but can I ask you... What your favorite Christmas songs are? Snowman by S- Sia. Sia. Oh, I That's don't know that one. one. Ooh, it's a banger. Oh, it's really good. I don't really listen to a lot of pop. I'm a classic Christmas girl. I'm going Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra. That's yeah. what I want. I like those as well, but there's a lot of good new Christmas music, like Taylor Swift's uh, Christmas Tree Farm. I have oh, heard that one. That's a, okay, fun fact, guys. She wrote that in under 24 hours and released it. No way. Yeah, I think she has like a little video that goes along with it. Oh like gosh. wrote it, created it, recorded it, everything under 24 hours, released it. Wow. It's really good. Sia's is really good. I think my all-time favorite Christmas song, though, is Christmas in the Sand by Colby Calais. Oh, I oh that's a good one. It's really good. Y'all are listening to different of Christmas music than me. Um, I listen to a ton. Oh, of I guess that music. makes sense since you had you did yeah. not have very white Christmases. Because it talks about like having Christmas at the beach, and I love Christmas at the beach. Who wouldn't? Um, but it's just like nostalgic, and it reminds me of home, and okay. makes me think of warmer days, which. I'm getting old and I don't like the snow anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have so many songs. Can I just like run through them real quick? Yeah. Christmas Tree Farm, Taylor Swift, 
Santa, tell me. Ar- Ariana Grande. Oh, I do like that one. That one's a bad Santa's year. coming for us. See ya. Last Christmas, Ariana Grande. Yeah. Snowman by Sia. Mistletoe by Justin Bieber. Oh, Justin Bieber. Oh, yeah. Santa so Baby, Ariana Grande. And those are the top hitter bangers. I also like Justin Bieber's uh, Little Drummer Boy. Yes. Which that almost made my list because no <laughs> mom of a newborn wants a drum playing by her. <laughs> no, truly. Nobody. <laughs> That's not a good gift for a mom of a newborn. <laughs> Those are bangers, though. That that list um, is bangers. My yeah. favorite is very much more classic. I like uh, the Christmas song, like Chestnuts Roasting oh, yeah, by an Open one. Fire. Okay. I like Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Yeah, that's a good one. I like I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. That's a good one. I like all those. I'm a classic, <laughs> old-time Christmas music girl. I think one thing I've realized making this list was there's a lot of different kinds of Christmas music. Yeah. And for me, I'm like, I enjoy most of them, but it just depends on like the mood, you know? Yeah. And I like the, I like a classic mood. That's what I'm putting on every single time. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna, there was like, I like a lot of like old Christmas. Sorry, I'm trying to, okay, here we go. Um. Mariah Carey? Like, Run Rudolph Run by Chuck Berry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, oh, let me see if I can find any others. Lots of those. Yeah. Like, uh, anyways, there's, there's a bunch. I like those old Christmas songs. Yeah. Me too. That's what I lean to. I will listen to other ones sometimes. Like on the radio if they're on. I get tired of Mariah Carey's yeah. Christmas song pretty fast. It just All kind I of for Christmas signifies you. that it's Christmas time. You yeah. Know? I yeah. don't mind hearing it a few times, but I do get tired yeah. of it. Yeah. They play it too much. Overplayed. Amen to that. <laughs> but what I do normally is I'll just turn on like YouTube and they have like uh, fireplace oh, yeah. settings and it plays like Christmas music in the back. I'll he do loves that. doing that. We always do that when we, I like put it on Christmas morning when we yep. open presents. We always have one of those fireplaces going. Oh, yeah. I love that. So cozy. Yeah. Okay, well, I loved hearing about your worst songs and your favorite songs. <laughs> Hope we're happy with what we selected. And they they were mixed between all of us. No some kidding. Of, some was, of our worst were our favorite, and some of our favorite were judged, our worst. But... I know you'll have to let us know what songs you hate. Yeah. Um, but it's time to move on to our bonus yap section of this. Uh... We do. I do love a bonus yap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today we're going to talk about our recent hyperfixations. Let's have the guests go first, okay. lover. <laughs> I don't know that I've been super fixated on it, but I've just been thinking about traveling a lot and places I want to go. Like I, I want to go to like Amsterdam. I want to go to, I want to eat a lot of good food in like South America and Paris and stuff. I want to go home to Hawaii and warm up a little bit. And so I've just been thinking about like flights and traveling and you want to get out of here. How I could not be working and travel. <laughs> I love so, that for you. And I love yeah. that for me. Me too. I would love to go somewhere. I'm not going anywhere. Not anywhere cool. Yeah. We're, by the time this is released, we, you'll be back from Disneyland. We will have gone to Disneyland. So you'll I'm have not, to hear about the full recap when we do a life I know. update. We'll do a life update and I'll tell everybody about yeah. it. <laughs> okay, Caitlin, what, what about you? Um, my current hyper fixation is I'm trying to go to disneyland so i could see christmas <laughs> like i'd be thinking about it i kid you not every day and i have a magic key and i can only go certain days oh i can't go on weekends and i can't go the two last weeks of december oh so you should come so when i'm going <laughs> i can literally go like the week so right now we're recording it's before thanksgiving you're gonna hear this after but technically i can really only go weekdays in december and like i can't first go the week two of, weeks yeah, yeah first two weeks of december um <laughs> so i'm thinking about just doing a day trip i just gotta walk in see the tree see the things <laughs> try a couple holiday treats try some holiday treats yeah go ride credit coaster go ride guardians head home big thunder you know yeah pirates <laughs> the essentials that sounds pretty good so that's what i'm that's what i'm fixated that's what on that's about. what i'm thinking about what about you Okay, my hyperfixation is um, The Lazy Genius, which I've talked about The Lazy Genius before. She's a podcaster, but she also is an author. And she put out a new book called The Plan, um, which is kind of about a different way to look at your life and how you prioritize and schedule and all the things and how, like, 
having a life that is trying to like better and better yourself is not always the perfect plan. Oh, like sometimes it's okay to be content where you are. Yeah. But also if you want to change things, how, um, but also the lazy genius has put out what's called playbooks. Hmm. Um, they're new and I haven't gotten mine yet, but I have pre-ordered. Okay. They go along with however you like plan. So I do it in my phone, but people buy planners every year. These are little and they go by season. And so the first season is going to be December, January, February for Ooh. winter. Okay. And it's little and it just has stuff in it like uh, there's a page that's like a brain dump page. So you can put all the things you're worried about in that brain dump. There's a spot where you can put like um, priorities and put them there. There's a place where you can say like how I'm feeling going into the season, how I would like to be feeling. Um like it's kind of an overview of your season, okay. what's important to you, what's coming up, and how do you prioritize that, um, and how to also give yourself some grace during those seasons. Okay. So I'm, I've been thinking about all the things because I'm like I'm a planner. Yeah. yeah. And Our queen. Winter gets crazy, especially with Christmas time. But I also have two kids' birthdays. Mm-hmm. Like in that span of time, plus in that span of time we also have like Valentine's Day and things like that. Jeez. So being able to like have a little thing that gives me an overview. Think about your season and what's coming up for you. And then you can better give yourself like the grace you need for that season or plan ahead enough to like yeah. not feel overwhelmed by your life. Dang. That's pretty cool. So I'm excited about them. She, they're new, but she is like, she's so on top of things. I love her. Wow. Her name's Kendra Adachi, but her podcast is a lady genius and I own all of her books. I love her. I have okay. to check it out. So that's yes. what I'm doing. I am trying to be better at planning. Caitlin and I were like not planners. We're both go with the flow, wing it people. Yeah. And, but we're both like that. And so. <laughs> so who's organizing your life? <laughs> both of us. Uh, are you, are you we're actually We're both doing winging it? it. That's our organization <laughs> plan. We have like, we like try to have like life conversations of like, long-term like short-term goals and things like yeah. every couple of years yeah it's not it's not even happening happening every year oh and me and mitch are trying to have a monthly meeting yeah about our lives because That's good. they're so full of things <laughs> see like i like for work i plan on my phone yeah and for life i kind of just have it in my head and i like <laughs> that's helpful for you Caitlin. i know what to do for things you know yeah well i'm just thinking like uh, in my week-to-week schedule i'm like i in my head i know what i need to do you know yeah and i go do it but like for longer term stuff and goals and things like that i'm like i need to improve in planning there yeah me too and so i'm like that's what i need to and i've, I've tried to focus on things and do planners and stuff but I should yeah. be consistent. I never stick with the planner. I just use yeah. my phone. Yeah. I have this like little calendar and it's only like the months. It's I hate planners that have all these pages for day to day. Yeah. I rip those out. All I need is the calendar at the view, like as your big view. You need one month at a time. Yeah. So I have like one month at a time and I put it in my bag and I carry it everywhere. I... The thing is, I don't know how to tell people, like, when someone's like, oh, why don't you just put it in your phone? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. My brain doesn't work like that. Like, (laughs) like, it's so, I never look at my phone calendar. I have to write it down. But then it gets me in trouble because what if I, like, forget the little thing? Yeah, what if you don't have it? I know. So I'd be overbooking myself all the time on accident. It's the worst. My brain is not a great space right now for, like... Like, that's why, like, adding you to the podcast, like, I cannot stress enough has like well now there's two brains instead of one yes and (laughs) your brain is the one that like can file and like i don't know i just can't really describe my brain at the moment well i will keep us on schedule so and you will keep us recording and i will just be (laughs) vibe providing (laughs) i look at my phone calendar at least once a day oh i do at least see what's on it and then if i have multiple things i constantly check it back but if nothing's on it then i'm like okay this is what I'm doing today. And I just think it through and then I go. Wow. I check my phone calendar at least four times a day. Yeah. I've got a lot of things happening. I need to change my life. <laughs> I even tried to put like recurring things on my daily calendar on my phone. Yeah. And try to like live by it. But it, it helps. But I'm still not super consistent. It's yeah. funny because he added those recurring things onto our calendar and it absolutely wrecks me. 
because <laughs> like then there's a dot on every day yeah so like when you look at your phone calendar if there's nothing on that day there's no dot yeah and I so understand. when you do a click a quick glance at your calendar um there's like, dots on every something. day and so i'm yeah. like you're telling me i have something every day but when you go into it, it's like read your scriptures <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, brother, can we just not put that on there and just know you should? Yeah. But I does it get that. done if you don't put it on there? Does it get done does when it? it's on there? <laughs> your chances are better. If you try. <laughs> You're increasing the odds. Oh, yeah. It's that time of year, you know. We're all yeah. thinking about that. Yeah. Because it's almost January. It's almost January. I read something. It was like, you should just start now. Like, yeah. Don't put the pressure of January on yourself. Just yeah. try it now. That's true. But most planners don't start in no, December. But if you use your phone, you can start whenever you want. Exactly. Does anyone, is this just like an ADHD thing? Or like, does January give everyone else like a new life? Or is it just like someone who's like... I think it's just popular, the media. Okay. You know? yeah. I actually think that I get that sense every Monday. Monday? Where it's like, Mondays, I'm like, it's a new week. You do kill it on Mondays. And I'm like, here's all the things that have to happen. Wow. Like, I don't get it at the start of the year very much, but every Monday it's like, it's fresh. It's new. We got things to do. I love that for you. Every Monday. I'm pumped. And then it's, you know, Wednesday and I'm less <laughs> pumped about it. But Mondays I'm pretty optimistic. You know, one thing funny is I was like, probably like five years ago, I was like, you know, it would be sick if I had like a TV that mounted on my wall that looked like a calendar. They yeah. make those now. I know. And then every every time I put something in my calendar on my phone, it would just update on yeah, there. Yeah, they and make I could them. Just look at that. And then like a year ago, I saw it and I was like, wow, that would have been great. Yeah. But I'm too cheap to buy one. Yeah, exactly. Me and Mitch have Checked thought about out. them a couple of times. But I have yeah. like an acrylic calendar that I write everything on. And it's color organized. But I wouldn't everything. have to do that if yeah. you just. But it takes so much longer. You got to erase it. You got to mm-hmm. write nice. It does. But it's what you can't I have. color coordinate it as easily. Because sometimes be really nice. I don't need to know what's past. So if I could do like a half October, half November. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So if like it only goes from the current day forward, and then at the top would be like next. That's month, true. Last of week month. of the month, we have no idea what's happening next week. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. Because it's not on that calendar. So sometimes if the month is looking pretty sparse at the end, I just erase it anyways. Yeah. I'm like, nothing's going on. It sounds on. like we know what Kala wants for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> but he also <laughs> thinks that we don't need presents. Yeah. Presents that was his are holiday overrated. hot take. Uh, Did you know I didn't know that was Christmas. you? And I was like, who the hell's saying that? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> and I'm married to think him. Think about this. You give a bunch of presents. Yeah. And do you know that people actually want it? No. 90% of the time it's like, oh, thank you. And then like. Two months later, I'm going to stop you right there. If you are giving someone a gift and you don't know how they're going to take it, why are you getting that person a gift? I'm not you saying you should be you don't gift giving to take like it. people yeah. you know and you're listening to. Like, like you got to be thinking, you got to be, you got to be thinking about that person, what they like, what they want, so that you know they're going to love it. I'm just saying that 90% of the things <laughs> I've received in the past five you years, you didn't actually want them. It's just like, oh, it's great, but it's not like something I'll use every day or like something I'm like, like just out of my mind obsessed with. You, you would know? have rather had well, cash. Well, that's not your love language. So when someone gives you something, you don't feel any different. You're like, okay, oh, awesome. Yeah. But for like someone else, that could be like, oh my gosh, I, I felt thought of. I They've love been it listening. when someone gives me a kind gift. But also, anything you actually want in your life is too expensive for you to ask someone else to buy it for that's you. That's true. Bingo. That's very true. I feel like that's more true of guys than girls. Yeah. Mitch only wants things that are like two hundred dollars, and I'm like, can we not? I'm talking more, than more. That. and I'm like, I really would like this eight ninety nine derma roller, and he's like, why haven't you just bought it? And yeah. I'm like, I don't know because because we could save it and you can put it in my stocking and it would be fun. Or you could just enjoy it now. <sighs> oh, Kala, lovers, just bringing us down. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <sighs> think about it though. Like, anytime someone gives you a gift. You would feel bad if they bought you the thing you actually want because it's too expensive. How about you talk for yourself, pal? Because I know because I got lots a, of things I would. Someone like. gave me a brand new <laughs> iPad Pro. I'd be like, "Wow, you expect wow, someone you to buy really your iPad if, Pro?" No, I don't expect someone to buy me that. But if someone did, I would still take it. Yeah, yeah I'd be glad. I would feel bad though because I'm like, dude, now I feel like I have to. Return a favor and buy you something super awesome. I like do that. feel that way about neighbor gifts. Like yeah. if someone brings you a neighbor gift, do you feel like you have to give them a neighbor gift? Yeah. When it's like, yeah, how about we all like don't a, give each other anything? Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm okay with that. But when it's people I know and love, I'm in on gifts. Me too. I feel like, can we change the subject? Because that's kind of making me depressed. Uh, yeah. It's time to influence each other. Okay. To buy some I already things. bought her a Christmas <laughs> gift. Oh, they so. know. They heard last oh, episode. We heard. But she still needs a stocking. Pretty awesome. Don't I forget. Might add. It yeah. was pretty awesome. I killed it. <laughs> Glover, I said, I want this. And you said, do you want for a Christmas present? I said, yes. <laughs> You're not all the way off the hook. because He said, I still. killed it. I was like, brother, I, I was going to get it. And you said, for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, and I'm bad at stockings. No, you can do it. I can do it. You I, can do it. I'm just not up to standards. He gets my, dudes, okay. He gets my stocking on the 24th every year when everything's already gone. Oh, my heavens. You got to start now. But I tell him Things every are on sale, year, too. You can now. make good... But yeah. he says, I'm busy working. I got a life to deal with. I'm out here yeah, but you trying have life to keep to my head above too. the water. You can do it. It takes two clicks on Amazon. No worries. I'm out here drowning. It's okay. I'll start sending you some links. My queen. <laughs> Appreciated. <laughs> Appreciated. Uh, speaking of links, we're going to influence you now. All right, lover. Things to buy. What do people buy? Things to buy. I don't know. I mean. It doesn't have to be like things to buy. If like you're loving yeah. Mac salad from... Oh, always. From uh, Mobetta's. Always. Is that the best Mac salad well, around? I think here. Uh, here, in yes. In Utah. There's okay. different ones. Is yeah. it better in Hawaii? Uh, Yeah, I would say so. It's it's pretty good, though. But most people won't like it. But what mm-hmm. I was thinking of influencing people, and this is going to be niche again, big and tall people, if you like dress shorts or dress pants, yeah. Walmart has a brand called Ben Hogan. I think they're like golf clothes yeah but uh they're great slacks and shorts they're honestly like, that's good to know yeah, yeah they're super stretchy it's hard to yeah. find things for tall people and they're like 20 and let alone yeah like a whole line of things yeah great like, price they're like stretchy so i consider them my lululemon stuff you know <laughs> his because, lulu dupes <laughs> because i'm too broke for a lululemon and they don't fit me, and they probably so. wouldn't fit you're yeah. too tall yeah so that's my lululemon okay i love that uh, my influence is um, I have an SD card reader for my phone. So if you've been listening long enough, you know I'm a camera girl. So regardless, whatever I'm using for photos, if it's a digital camera or like a bigger camera, if I am like on vacation, I can take my SD card out of my camera and I put it into this um SD card reader and plugs it right into my phone and I go to photos and it will in the right hand corner it will say import and I just click it and you can see all the photos yeah Yeah. like if it's like your regular camera roll yeah and then you can just click the ones you want to download to your phone hit download and then you can like unplug it put the SD card back into your camera and then so like if you know let's say you're in Disneyland but you're using a digital camera not your phone yeah like when you sit down to lunch, you can like pull off a few photos. So you can post something or share yeah. with family. Yep. And, and you can like share cool. it with your friends too. Yeah. And I also like to use my phone to like edit my photos. Not like my, because a lot of you guys know I take family photos. That's all done on my laptop with like my Adobe uh, yeah. programs. But if it's just for me, my personal stuff, I just love using like Tezza app or Lightroom app. And so I use that SD card reader. So this is really only for people who are not taking a lot of photos on their phone. Not right. professional. Yeah. But like, you know, I feel like digital cameras are like popping off right now. Yeah. And so anyways, that's the fastest way I can get my photos, edit them, post them. And like, I really enjoy it because I actually use my phone to like get photos printed and sent to my house yeah and it's all in it's all because of the sd card reader i love it oh i love that i had yeah. no idea they even existed yeah it's a game changer for people makes taking it photos. accessible yes okay my influence you is called active skin repair oh i'm all about make it skin stuff i feel like i do that a lot <laughs> um but this is a spray that pretty much heals everything Whoa. It like will make it so that sunburns aren't get better and very fast. Whoa. You spray it on cuts, mm. you're better. You spray it on a baby's bum who has some diaper rash, gone. Whoa. It's good for everything. What is I it take it everywhere. Active skin repair. You can get it on Amazon, but sometimes oh. they run deals on their like okay. their direct is site. Is it like natural or is it like Um yeah, it's more maybe more. I think more. I know a couple of brands who like sell it. They also make um an antimicrobial gel. So sometimes I use that like on my 
like fresh ear piercings to keep them Cuts clean and, and stuff like, like that. that. And they also have a um, a hydrating microgel spray. But all of the things, the regular active skin repair spray is my favorite. And I use it for everything. I mm-hmm. keep it on me at all times. Okay. When I go to camp with my youth in the summertime, anybody who gets bug sunburnt, bites. bug bites, I'm spraying them. Yeah. Whoa. And by the time we go home, everyone is looking and feeling good. Okay. I'm telling you, it's magic. I can't live without it. That's crazy, dude. You're always telling us the best things of every time. I just use a lot of stuff, and then I'm like, this is the thing. <laughs> so I've tried about seven, Testament. and now this is my favorite. <laughs> wow. I've heard about some of those, though. It's like, really good. Yeah. You shock me every time. It's like I've never even heard of this before. <laughs> well, and I'm like, who's scrapes. talking about it? Because it's like I just keep it in my bathroom, right? Yeah. yeah. But when, when we need it, it's really good. And it doesn't sting when you spray it on. Okay. So, like, my kids are not afraid of it, you know? Yeah. It's great. Dang. Mm. Okay. That's it. I hope you enjoyed our episode today. Lover, how'd you feel? I love Christmas. Okay. I love Christmas too. Same. (laughs) I love presents, but not my husband. (laughs) (laughs) All right. That's all we have for today. And remember, you can follow us on Instagram and TikTok at the Vibe Providers Podcast. And we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. See ya. Bye.